Hi there. In this part, I will show you and discuss with you about the Gutenberg uh, blocks. And it's very important to understand um, what is the default block and uh, how it works with the default WordPress theme. And if you understand these blocks, then you can use or you'll be able to uh, see the same blocks every single Gutenberg editor. So let's get started and I will just describe with you the basic uh, workflow of this blocks item so that you can get some idea about the blocks. Now if I take a look at the first one which is called text that means under this text all other listed blocks are related to the text block. Now if I hover over any of them from here you can see when I hover paragraph at the right side you can see the overview of the paragraph block now when i hover over headings you can see the heading blocks preview and when i hover over list you can see also the list box or the list blocks preview and here is the same code classic editor code and pre-formatted also pull code table and verse so this is the text blocks now when i scroll down here you can see some media block basically media refers to image gallery audio cover file and also the media and text and also video so if you are not familiar all of them then um, you will be able to understand after completing this series tutorial i'll be using the most popular uh, block item from here however if you want to play around with any of the block item you can simply drag it into your editor and drop it here you can just play around uh, with the block item from here but currently i'm not going to use any of them uh, here and uh, because i will show you everything in a real life project now if i scroll down here you can see the design options so inside the design options you can see the buttons columns groups row and read more separator and a spacer so basically those are uh, related to the design and if i scroll down here you can see the archive calendar categories and a uh, custom html comments latest post so all of them are here widgets so the most important thing and which is the latest uh, block features inside the full site editing um, themes which is called theme now if you take a look at the theme and you can view all the items that are related to create a fully custom theme inside your website so for an example if you click on navigation it will allow you to create a fully functional navigation for site logo it will basically display your website logo site title it will display the site title and if i hover over you can view the preview site tagline there is no tagline at this moment and the query loop uh, i will explain the query loop when i'll be creating the post or archive page and also here you can see the post list template part so you can edit the different global uh, reasons of your site like the header footer sidebar or create your own and header and footer we already are familiar with the header footer template and we already familiar with a few of them because we have created our header and footer using the themes blocks editor or the themes blocks item now if i hover over post title basically if you want to display the post title post excerpt featured image content author post date and everything you can display and we will create a complete custom archive page single post page and we'll be using all of them from here for post and also here you can see the login and logout button now if i click over here for curiosity you can see it looks like this currently because i am inside uh currently i'm locked in mode and if i click over here go to block here you can see some other information but no i'm not going to use any of them from here so let's remove it click on the plus icon or the toggle block inserter item now if i scroll down so here you can see some other options now if i scroll down a little bit team descriptions sorry it's a term descriptions then archive title 
so it's very important and i'll be using all of them almost all of them from here um, it's required and related to the theme so if you are not familiar any of the widget or any of the block item from here you can just play around with them and try to understand how things work here and if I scroll down here, you can see the embeds options. The embeds option basically you can embed Twitter, Tweet, YouTube Video, WordPress, SoundCloud, Spotify, and other um, social site or other sites information into your website. So that's all for the introduction regarding the blocks. I hope this little video will be very helpful for you to understand what is the default blocks and what you will going to learn uh, for creating or while creating this project. So let's move into the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video